Hey everybody. Today we're gonna be canning some tomatoes with the Nana Bear. We went to a local farmer's market yesterday and they had an awesome deal on some canning tomatoes. So Nana Bear snatched them up and she has all of the stuff to can already. So we are getting ready and set up. Tristan Bear helped me wash the jars uh, detail them this morning and Nana Bear washed them in the dishwasher last night. So we're making breakfast right now and then we've got a little bit of shopping to do and when we get back, we're gonna start canning. All right, we're back from the store and we are gonna get started with canning. Nana Bear's gonna show me what to do. Getting the water going and getting it hot. So you put the tomato in the boiling water for about 45 to 60 seconds. You'll start seeing the skin crack. Take them out and put them in an ice bath or just really cold water. And then you start peeling the skins. So that's our next task. Now Nana Bear is peeling the skins off of the tomatoes and picking the inside clean. Making sure there's no bruises or yucky spots. And just cut them out. So after we took the skins off the tomatoes, we are now quartering them, depending on the pieces. You just want the pieces all the same size. You don't want little pieces, big pieces. So just start slicing. If you see any um, brown or sprout growing, be sure to take those out. What are you guys doing over here? <laughs> Cannonators. So this pot is for the jars, right? Once yeah. we get them filled. So we're doing two tablespoons of, of lemon, juice. lemon juice. Lemon juice, real lemon juice. And one teaspoon of salt. I use canning salt. You don't have to, you can use regular, but canning salt is a little bit better to use. And this is a teaspoon. One teaspoon. So we're gonna do one jar at a time. So that's per jar? Per jar. Okay. So when you fill in your jars, you wanna leave, you wanna pack them and you wanna leave about a half inch head space. Like that. All right. So this is called raw.
After 45 minutes, the jars are ready to come out. You use your jar lift, pull them out, and set them on a towel. They sit on for 24 hours. And then you check the seal to make sure they have sealed correctly. And they look great. All right, what happened, Anna Bear? Went to pull the jars out. We had one bust, so we gotta throw these away because there could be glass in them. No. And so you see the mess in the water. Here's all our good tomatoes we lost. Oh, a whole jar. But that's okay, one jar is not bad. It happens. I just noticed I used the wrong jar. It's not a ball jar or a mason jar. It was probably a jar from mayonnaise that I used. Don't use regular pickle jars or mayonnaise jars. You have to use ball or mason jars. Yeah. Hey,